All right, so a few different vehicles here to customize and to walk through. We have scout vehicles, APCs, tank, fire support, artillery gunships, fighter, patrol ships, frigates, destroyers, carriers, and yes, battleships. Look at that carrier there looking beautiful with those F-35s on board. Looks like, uh, yeah, we have some battleships too. Not as modern, but definitely sweet to see a battleship. 280 on the damage there. 300 for the uh, carrier that carries eight F-35 jets. Command class here, I guess, with different types of camo for it, too. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Looking nice. And then, of course, different colors for the faction. Take a look at the battleship. Conquer class. Destroyers. Oh. Different uh, destroyer and frigates, I assume. Yep. Lafayette. And patrol ships, too. With different types of armament. Machine guns, for example. Uh, and here we go with some fighters. F-14s, MiG-23s, and Rafales. A-52s, MI-28s, artilleries. Ooh, look at that. MLRSs, BM-21s. Fire support. Looks like we have anti-aircraft here. Some flak units. Ah, uh, yes, of course, tanks. M1A-2s, T-72s, Challenger 2s. Leopard 2A6s and a T-14 Armada. Interesting. I'm not seeing any infantry here, but, uh, well, we have VAPs and Strikers. Oh, my goodness. Lots and lots of cool vehicles here. A gas and an AMX 10RC. Interesting. Almost looks more tank than armored car, or in this case, a Scout. And, of course, different camos for it as well. Pretty sweet. Okay. Well, let's deploy all these vehicles into a skirmish mode. And see how it all plays out. Hopefully there's infantry in here too. Alright, back at the main menu. A beautiful Leopard 2A6 there. I don't know what's going on with that track on the left side. It's like turning green or something. Yeah, anyway. Let's check out the skirmish mode. We got ourselves several different maps. 3v3s, 2v2s, 1v1s, small harbor. Well, let's do a large harbor for a 2v2. That seems like a lot of fun. Alright, and let's do uh, AI player with us. We'll do normal on team 1, normal on team 2. All the way up to hard is what we can go to. Uh, what do we have for factions? We have Air Force, Land Armor, or Marines. Oh, we can make them focus on different types of builds. Uh, let's do one that is a... I assume Marines are probably also going to be ships. Let's definitely do one Land Armor and let's do one uh, Marine. Cool. All right, let's get some similar colors here working. Yeah, we want ours to be Marines here. Let's do that. We'll go with a different color of blue. That's close enough. And for these guys, we'll go red and yellow. All right, cool. Our camo, I guess forest one, navy one. There we go. That'll be fine. All right, let's jump in. That is a large map. Now oh, the VAB APC, of course, with the massive minigun on top. Is that actually a realistic gun? That seems like the vehicle's realistic, but I don't know about the gun. It almost looks like a damn laser or something like that. Jeez. All right. Well, I guess we're getting into some more fictional territory, but some of these things could someday exist or be very close to. Interesting. I like the loading screen, though. I need to see some infantry for this to really make it up for me, though. All right. Here we are at the harbor. Let's go to war. Looks like we got to build some more structures around this base, but we should be able to knock the enemy out pretty soon. Good luck, Commander. All right. Ah, oh, this makes me miss Command and Conquer Generals already. All right, let's build ourselves a resource center to start gathering resources from our storage, and maybe we'll build another dozer so we can continue to build on to our base. We got our ally next door to us doing uh, something, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know what he's up to over there. Oh, there he is, right up here. All right, looks like he's building himself a resource center, too, and some other stuff as well. Yep. Awaiting confirmed. Good. All right, let's go ahead and build ourselves a shipyard. We're going to start pumping out some ships ASAP. Got our shipyard there. And in the center of the map, we have to capture these positions here, these squares. And we can also capture these positions to capture additional ships for our push into enemy territory. And we also have to do the same with ground positions here as well. Man, this game really makes me think of what would happen if we actually did get a Command and Conquer oh, yes. Generals 2. But uh, I just can't think of that many microtransactions. EA is going to have to do that. All right, let's go ahead and build a factory now. And we could probably try to build some artillery for anti-ship warfare and also anti-tank warfare if and when 
the enemy comes through with that. Go ahead and build ourselves another factory in the back like that. Perfect. So it looks like the front loaders or whatever our construction vehicles need to be touching the buildings that are being constructed and pieces with the scaffolding coming out. And then a forklift goes around to deliver goods. Kind of cool that way. I like that. And it's the same with our uh, now completed shipyard. Looks like we have access to a eight. Oh, wait. Uh, maybe a Lafayette. Now we're going to go with the H mouse. There we go. We'll build a few of those so we can have control of the seas. It looks like our allies doing the same too, making a few of the uh, patrol ships available. All right, we're going to go ahead and go out and capture those positions. We need to save up a little bit more money, though, before we do any of that stuff, but we're going to try to focus on upping our pr uh, production as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and start getting some vehicles out. We'll go with the uh, couple of Humvees here. And we'll try to start capturing these positions down here to then gain more income so we can make more vehicles, especially some special vehicles and such, too, like, a, you know, a aircraft carrier would be pretty sweet now if this looks familiar to you as being like a uh, armor clash from previous yeah you'd be right for whatever reason the dev is starting a new game and i guess kind of taking everything that they learned from the previous game to make it into something new and fresh instead of just uh, doing bug fixes on the old one i suppose the skybox looks good i can see clouds moving in and i love this uh, uh the sunshine going on looks good but you know, this is an RTS, so top-down is probably what it's going to be about 90% of the time. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a uh, power plant now. We have low power. Looks like we've also lost a strategy point. Oh, are we in control of these cars now? Hell yeah, brother. All right, I don't know why, but uh, let's go ahead and go down here. Now, one thing that's weird about this game already is that we don't have control over our camera without, like, moving the mouse to the edges of the screen. I don't know, what is this, the 70s? Like, the arrow keys and WASD do nothing to command our vehicle, so that's a little weird. All right, the enemy's moving into position. They're going to try to take that center flag. They're also going to try to take this uh, position here, which looks to be a warehouse out in the middle of the ocean. We can't allow them to do that. All right, looks like uh, enemies are everywhere around us. Well, we're able to cut through those ships pretty quickly. We seem to have rockets or something on board ours, maybe... Anti-ship missiles, it looks like they might be guided. I'm not sure entirely, but... Wow, they're knocking out enemy ships pretty quickly. All right, hell yeah. Got all of our trucks arriving. Hell yeah. Hold them right up. All right, let's go capture that center position. Clean them out, and then we'll bring in reinforcements. Looks like we get a couple more uh, Humvees ready to go. Those are anti-vehicle. They have tow launchers on them. All right, we could get the Leopard 2A6s. We could get Flak BM-21. We did kind of customize our army a little bit before going into battle uh, by picking a few different things. So let's go for a barracks now. So if we can't customize our infantry, that means that the enemy infantry and our infantry are going to be either very similar or same units, just different, uh, I guess, color all right, looks like we're sinking enemy ships now. Working together to do that. I'm here. Oh, now. Looks like we got one of the control points. Okay. And two on the land, excellent. All right, we don't want to win this easily. Ooh, do we get some artillery pieces for capturing uh, this base here? Looks like we just might... Whoa, what? We have a rock... Wait, what? Now I have a nuke? Is that a nuclear missile? Uh, why do I have a nuke? I don't understand. Can I do anything with it? Maybe it gives me, like, permanent line of sight over the map, as if, like, we're launching a GPS satellite? Commander, awaiting order. Let's send the trucks over. Kind of hard for me to tell, like... I guess whoever captures this building first then gets control of the units. I'm not sure exactly how to get or maintain control. All right, we're going to purposely not capture that building there. I want to try to get an aircraft carrier at some point. It looks like that's going to cost us, though, of course. And it looks like our ally is getting extra reinforcements there. Maybe we only get a carrier if we go for a marine stat uh, strategy. Wow, look at the artillery range there. Commander? Well, hopefully somebody gets artillery and somebody gets an aircraft carrier soon. We're going to need some more power. The 
battle is raging. Looks like they're trying to fire at the base. Let's send over our reinforcements. Ooh, here we go. The friendo is making some Lafayettes, but no, no help from uh, our neighbor. All right, looks like we got access to some of the artillery that was down here, maybe. It's still green. We're going to have to go check and see what they think of us down there. A little bit of a naval fight going already. All right, we're building another power plant. That should help us to get research stations and advanced structures up. That should be helpful. Wow. So it looks like neutral vehicles are not just necessarily capturable, but they can also fight back too if you try to capture them. Ready to roll out. All right, let's see what, what do we got here. You cannot build here. Well, we have a radar on our command center, but we need to build a bigger Copy radar that. for more advanced uh, construction options. We can build an airfield. We have access to a factory. We've got anti-air missile turrets and a howitzer field gun. Uh, fires very long-range shells. I'd like to see that in action. We've got uh, two thousand dollars to spend to build one of those. I'd like to see if that could be used as coastal defenses. All right, looks like the ally is sending out some tanks now too. Oh, and something blowing up over there as well. Are these the ch oh Challenger two tanks are coming through? Looks like we've lost the war on the sea so far. The hell is exploding. Oh. An enemy ship out there. Wow, nice explosion. Enemy ship out there doing damage to a radar dish. Okay, that's a, a little rude, sir. Ready to roll out. We'll build back here. That's rude. You are being very rude. All right, well, the enemy uh, ships are going to have to take on... Allied ships. Looks like we outnumber them. Lafayette is no joke. That's a very good... Uh... Oh, wow. Cruise missiles launching, too. Yeah, no wonder they were able to destroy so quickly. Alright, they're starting to cut through a little bit. Too bad we can't give our ally, like, orders or suggestions and tell them to attack or defend while we uh, prepare an attack, too. It'd be kind of cool to see them going in for an attack, tell them to wait... You send out your vehicles too, and then you can all push together. Luckily, it's a tied game right now. I actually don't see a score anywhere. I, I guess the goal is to uh, capture all. Oh, would you look at this? Here's our technology. We got ourselves basic technology points, advanced technology points. We can then call in more vehicles that we didn't see earlier in the game, like the V-22 heavy gunship, B-2 bomber, experimental tank, a Scud B, and the aircraft carrier and battleships in which we did see, and then upgrades for our Air Force land armor and marines. We got A-10 airstrikes, high explosive shells, EMP strikes, and different levels of those as well. Oh man, oh, two A-10s? Oh man, how, how do we get these? Uh, capture mercenary camps to get one base technology point. Oh, that's awesome. Well, bring in the Burt Reynolds, please. Oh, we can also upgrade to a Mar well, MQ-9 drone and a Mirage 2000. Holy crap. Gunship auto cannons. Oh, we can buy that with money. Oh, the hell yeah, that's awesome. Upgrade complete. Give me all of these. Research Looks like we get a uh, advanced radar for free. Is that what that is? Yes. Or some sort of an upgrade for it. Okay. Well, now we can start launching strikes from the, uh, from the old base. But let's go ahead and get some stuff together first. All right, well, now we can start building some tanks. All right, we're going to go ahead and build some tanks, and let's also get a barracks up, too. Actually, what if we get a airfield down? Oh, we can actually turn the orientation of it. Very nice. All right, tanks are going out. 
What the hell's going on here? Wow, whatever happened, I, I have no idea. All right, friendly sending out some more ships then to deal with the center. I'm ready for action. Uh, Somebody or something is attacking Absolutely. our base, but oh, it's a wait, it ships off the coastline. All right, let's call on an airstrike. All right, here come the A-10s. Oh, look at that. They can actually fire. Oh, hell yeah. Woo! Looks like the uh, ships are also able to defend themselves against aircraft. So they're going to be extra deadly. They can shoot at aircraft. Yep, helicopters going straight down. Damn. The only way to beat them is going to have to be at, at sea. Looks like there's some helicopters too. Well, I guess we could play a guessing game and actually, like, kind of predict where the enemy is going to be. Oh, hell yeah. Let's call out an aircraft carrier. Can I construct one of those? Wow. It's just normal AI, too. Bro, use your navy. Help me out. Get them off my back so I can start producing. All right, we're making anti-aircraft units. Likely uh, AH-64 Apaches armed with um, Hydra missiles. Anti-aircraft gun now firing. Hell yeah. Oh, one of the vehicles using like microwave technology from Command and Conquer Generals just, just in the same way to disable the vehicle. Very cool. Wow, they got us, like, absolutely pinned down. Oh, look, the friendly Navy coming over. How nice. Oh, wow. Well, we don't have a command center anymore. I want to do the same to the enemy, then. I think the ability is still recharging. Well, let's see how the uh, ally does here. So the enemies on medium difficulty are still super challenging, taking advantage of what seems to be realistic uh, tactics. For example, using naval ships to hit land targets far within without being seen, or at least the uh, inability to retaliate, although the AI very uh, stupidly just kind of sitting around and not protecting our harbor too so we can assist in the naval efforts. They're now sending out a big force here of vehicles. Looks like uh, challengers, artillery. No infantry here. No anti-aircraft really. Well, may maybe some of these things do have the ability to fire back. We'll see. I'm not sure exactly what the point of capturing these positions are then. Other than um, maybe perhaps it providing more income. Otherwise, the main objective would be to just capture the enemy's base or at least destroy it. But also for some of these positions here so that way we could use the, uh, yeah, the extra special call-ins. We don't have a bulldozer anymore. Ready, Commander. Yes, Commander. Co I'm ready. Uh, affirmative. Absolutely. Oh, nice. Mimicking some of the uh, lines from Command and Conquer Generals and Red Alert 2. All right, we have one of the positions back. I want to try to see if we can run A-10s anywhere in the enemy's base. So 
So it looks like their base might be like right here. Let's see if we can destroy that. Here comes the A-10s. Wow, damn. Okay, well, now we've gotten a full look at their base. Tons of power plants here. Uh, Air Force base and also command center over there, too. Wow, is Sea Wiz actually working at shooting down missiles? It looks like it is. That's awesome. Close uh, in weapon systems firing the cruise missiles as they're flying to and from enemy ships. Look at that. The only thing that's going to help them here is the main gun. And that's what they were using to destroy our base from a distance, too. You know, that's interesting. We have two power plants here, but yet we still have a sort of. Uh, and we need we need more power apparently still. All right, let's make some troopers. Let's get in some light vehicles and scouts. We can still we can still fight. Unit ready. Nice. Unit ready. All right, more units being pumped Unit out. Ready. Excellent. Unit ready. We're going to try to clap their base. Waiting orders. Unit ready. Can the units ride in the Humvees for transport? No, it doesn't look like they can. Unit ready. All right, so infantry and tanks are coming together. Control point captured. Oh man, I want to see a carrier out here. I hope our ally is able to call out new special vehicles too, since they've scored a lot of kills and have access now to some of that technology. What would be great here is um, the Air Force is really good for being able to destroy base targets and such. But the Navy would be the best for permanently providing support, such as a battleship or a cruiser or carrier in this case to assert dominance and general badassery okay calling in some more vehicles calling in more infantry we're gonna actually go for a big push here one FPS so we're playing on uh, ultra high graphics on some pretty beefy hardware right here so looks like we're gonna have to simmer things down for the future all right looks like we captured one of the flags in the center of the map with our navy it looks like the second one's about to fall we've captured one of the flags here on the right side with the second one about to fall we're sending in our reinforcements now to assist with that we we'll use that as a jumping off point to start hitting the enemy bases to where we should have ourselves more A-10s ready shortly. And this should be near where the enemy's power plants are. And I know their command center should be right where we marked. Wow, get wrecked. They just lost a radar and a couple of power plants. That's going to be expensive. Hopefully that hinders their ability to create vehicles. And we've got our scouts coming in. Oh, it looks like a train actually comes through the map. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the one FPS. Is there actually a way to chill the game out a little bit? No. Looks like we're going to have to suffer together. Oh, boy. So we have no more bulldozers, so we can't really rebuild our base after losing our command center and one of our bulldozers to build. Wow. Control point captured. Now, all right, our units are here at the train station in the south. I would assume then, just like in Command and Conquer Generals, that our vehicles could be destroyed if they're sitting on the tracks. 
Yes. Actually, we can command everybody across the whole screen, so let's see if we can go in for the uh, killing move now. Commander. Okay, moving. Doesn't seem to be an option for attack move. Okay. And T is just for our technology. Damn, it'd be awesome to see a aircraft carrier at this point. Okay. Oh. Yep, there goes the train. Popping through and knocking out a unit. Okay, so that shows that that's the case. Massive military convoy moving in. F's in the chat for the frames, boys. Oh wow, here come the rockets. Light vehicles here should be incredibly effective against these uh, artillery pieces, honestly. The tanks should be effective against scouts. But the scouts should be really good against artillery. And a helicopter flying sideways? Okay. Dear God, man. Absolute frickin' chaos. Oh. Wow, stun locked inside the base. We hold two out of or three out of the four con, uh, command points here, but I, I guess the uh, absolute real goal here is to uh, crush enemy bases and destroy all the enemy buildings on the map. All right, that last match was absolute trash. The AI was just way too aggressive, and uh, yeah, even after uh, messing around with the hard AI on our side, there's no way. There's no way. All right, I've also lowered the graphics here to absolute trash, too, to see if we can at least save the frames. I'd rather it be smooth than look pretty. Let's go immediately for the... Uh, I want to try to get uh, a carrier this time around. We're doing a 1v1 now. The map is somewhat similar, uh, but we're going to now try to outbuild the enemy. So we're going to do a uh, little resource center over there. We're also going to build a shipyard and then see if we can possibly expand to capture uh, some of the other territories as soon as possible. All right, let's go for... Uh, wait, where's our shipyard? There it is. Okay. Yep, that's what we want there. Okay, the next is uh, technology. We want to get a technology building up soon. We're getting the resource building up. Uh, this feels a little better. There's quite a bit of a difference to things, but it feels like the water is where the problem's coming in. Wow, it looks pretty, though. It looks good. Not going to lie. Yeah, I definitely want to call them those A-10s again. Upgrade complete. And we could probably start striking the enemy. Just just to test and see if they built anything there. Could be a way to cheat and get an early strike. I was right. Alright. Structure complete. Oh, we're going to pump out a bunch of ships here. Commander. Let's try to get a barracks down. Ready. Affirmative. Yes. And maybe a fire base too. Unit ready. Ah, that can only be built within range of our Affirmative. Uh, HQ. Yeah, the fire base is definitely a unit that's similar to what was present in. Uh, Command and Conquer Generals, that's for sure. Alright, let's go make sure we destroy the enemy navy. I don't see an option for attack move anywhere. But the upgrade system working similar to uh, Command and Conquer Generals as well with the special call outs that you could have. Awaiting orders. Ready for action. Moving. Affirmative. Okay. Structure affirmative. All right, let's capture that. Awaiting orders. Moving. Control. 
Control point captured. Structure complete. Alright, A-10's almost ready again. I hear her shooting already. Enemy must be capturing what's back there. Anyway. Try to put that in the fire base there. Let's get a factory up for vehicles. I'd love to see some aircraft here, but it seems like the best thing is going to be to uh, unlock that damn... Uh, Carrier. So what we need to do is go over here to grab this advanced tech point. That's going to be our main goal. Those bulldozers down there. Nope. Black guns and the like. I'm here, Roger. All right. Looks like we can occupy. Awaiting order. Okay. Yep. Cool. All right. So our fire base has some troops garrisoned in it. That's nice. All right, let's see if we can get some of these uh, units to deal with these guys. We'll get rocket infantry down there. And we'll get some recon vehicles down there. In the meantime, we should probably build a power plant. Times two. Affirmative. Unit ready. Unit okay, we have another tech point ready. Let's do another A-10 airstrike. We'll double up on the uh, aircraft now. Okay, we're going to hit their dock again. Their shipyard's got to go. Unit ready. Let's see if two can do it. Nice. All right, so two A-10s can do a lot of damage. Definitely don't want them producing any sort of vehicles. I'm here. Unit ready. Okay. Affirmative. Over here in capture two. Maybe this could be advanced tech on this side. Yeah, I see it there now. There's an advanced tech point at the top. Unit ready. Unit ready. Ready for action. Unit ready. Moving. Okay, let's continue to destroy the vehicles down there. Unit ready. More scouts are coming out. AT troopers doing some damage. Awaiting orders. Affirmative. Okay, let's go okay. capture this building. Looks like we just Control need to be nearby, and there we go. Control point captured. Excellent. Commander. All right, let's get Moving another one down here now. Moving. There we go. Enemy doing a good job of stopping us there. Let's try to get some more advanced technology going. We'll try to get that radar center up. Okay, we'll pump out some more vehicles there. And we'll try to save for a more advanced navy. Another control point to call out. Upgrade complete. Three A-10s this time. That'll Unit take care ready. of this problem, won't it? The one right in the center. Unit ready. Weird that they're neutral like that, but we ne we definitely need that advanced technology so we can get Upgrade. our carrier. Unit ready. Awaiting orders. Control point captured. All right, let's capture a control point up Structure here too. Complete. All right, A-10s are almost ready. We'll get a couple of ships ready to capture that position. Clean up the other ships that may survive. I'm here. We'll capture this control point, too. Unit ready. And we'll go for that uh, I'm here. base down here. Engaging. Unit ready. Good voice acting, though. Ready for action. Awaiting... Okay. Awaiting... Commander. 
Yeah, very good uh, on the voice for troops. I like that. Well, it looks like we have one ship at our disposal. Oh, look at that little harbor. That looks nice. Oh, actually, it's a flooded... the hell? High tide, I guess. Construction site that uh, got flooded. Awaiting orders. Moving. Ready. Okay, let's get everybody in position. We'll hit that in just a moment. I'm here. All right, let's link up with everybody. Moving. Affirmative. A big army gonna push in there now. We got to take out that artillery and whatever else might be around that's controlling that advance point. We gotta get that carrier, baby. Good music, too. Alright, let's hit him hard. Ready? Yes. Moving. Oh, wow. I can't believe that thing shot back. That was cool. Although, I think they're Ready for unfazed by that. All right, we got to take out the Arleigh Burke now. Okay, one more. Oh, just a little bit of health left on that one. All right, let's yes. capture that uh, advance point down oh. here. Unit so you can see how powerful those uh, frigates are and uh, ships and uh, patrol boats and whatnot. Very devastating yes. against ground units, too. Perfect. We now have the point advance point. Give me an aircraft carrier. Hell yeah. Wow, we can build multiple of these? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's capture another one. Ready for action. Unit ready. Affirmative. All right, enemy's base is here. Oh, there we go, baby. Yes, I wish we could look at it in a little better glory with higher HD graphics, but, you know. Oh, it looks like it comes fully loaded. Ready for I'm here, Affirmative. Oh, wow. All right, that's amazing. We can call out quite a few of those. I'm here. All right, let's get you guys to get Moving. Up. the Arley out of the way. Let's go. Wow, the anti-ship missiles coming in. There we go. Finally destroyed it. Wow, that took a long time. Very dangerous, those ships. Wow, look at the carrier fleet we've got now. Look at the carriers. Oh, wow. All right, this is going to be awesome. We need a big carrier strike. And let's get a battleship. Why the hell not? Now, you know, experimental tanks and scuds are pretty cool. B2s are pretty damn sweet as well. But a battleship, bro? Come on. The Conqueror class battleship. Let's get five of them. Ooh. We also got a free carrier up here as well. So we have six carriers going. Unit ready. Roger. There we go. I'm here, Is that an enemy ship? Roger. 
No, it's not. New kit from orbit. Unit ready. Unit ready for battle. I'm here, come on. All right, there we go. Copy that. I'm here, come on. All right, battleship time. Wow, look at the look at the size of the battleship. It's almost like the Yamato or something. Is that? No, it couldn't be. All right, let's send everything in. Let's just hit the... Um oh, nice. They're sending in uh, MiGs after us. Or whatever. Okay, here comes the uh, A-10s again to destroy the airfields. Beautiful. Alright, the battleship should clear out everything else. As long as they can get through. Uh, let's get a carrier for support over here. I'm here. Ready for action. Moving. Engaging. All right, we're going to go back and capture that position. Battleships are coming up. One final attack on the enemy base. I'd love to see paratroopers and such too. Looks like we only get one piece of tech per capture, so I wonder if it would be beneficial to let the enemy recapture it and then we capture it again. However, if they capture, then they get access to some pretty good technology. The main guns aren't even firing. Wow, look at that. Firepower, baby. Bring in those carriers. Hell yeah. Oh, this would be absolute hell to manage all that on a higher difficulty with all the enemy units going around. It'd be a nightmare. Send out those carriers. Destroy that command center. Affirmative. Yes, Commander. All right, battleships. You've had your fun. There's the command center. The reliable Air Force did a good job, or at least the uh, Navy with their air power. Okay, we're gonna have to send in the ground Waiting forces order. now. Affirmative. Let's cut off their power, cut off the head of the snake. Sweet. All right, recon teams entering the base. I'm here. Moving. Affirmative. Okay. I'm here. At that last Roger. position.
And one more power plant to go. Damn straight I am. Victory! All right. Hell yeah. All right, well, thanks for dropping in for our look at Armor Clash 2022. A lot of clunk and a lot of funk, but it is cool to blow the hell out of things with B2s and carriers and battleships alike. But this just makes me miss Command & Conquer Generals, and I hope we get to see more games such as this that try to get us close to that golden era of real-time strategy. Thanks again, everybody, for being here, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for leaving a like to support the channel. Thank you very much for subscribing for free. Thanks for becoming members, and thanks for saying hi down below in the comment section. It's good to have you here, so thanks for watching.